Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down There is no doubt that there are some desperate situations across the world today. According to the UN Refugee Agency, there's a staggering 82.4 million refugees worldwide. They also say that that figure will increase year upon year. In the UNICEF report for 2021, they say that there are one billion children who live in abject and extreme poverty right across the world. It truly seems unthinkable in our day and age that that should be the case. 40 million people are trapped in modern slavery across the world. Modern slavery is all around us and it's the severe exploitation of vulnerable people for personal or commercial gain, from clothing to food to factories, even cooks and nannies. Alongside these desperate situations, there are wonderful stories of hope from the relief agencies that are working to address the issues and the underlying causes of refugees, of child poverty and of modern slavery. There are numerous agencies involved, Oxfam, Tear Fund, BMS, CAFOD, And these are only a few that I could mention here. There's a universal belief that's behind the work of all these agencies. It propels them to act on behalf of the most vulnerable. It's behind the passion. It's behind the justice that is so long sought for. The belief that's behind all of this is a belief of hope that amidst the most desperate situations of life, there is hope. Well, we're walking down now to Mabgate, which is uh, just off the city centre in Leeds. And there's a, a number of building projects going on all around tell you a little bit about Mabgate as we stand here in the former grounds of St Mary's Church. St Mary's Mabgate needed an awful lot of building work spending on it. Services were held in the former church hall which was converted to flats several years ago. The church land is presently occupied by the diocesan offices. There's still a number of gravestones around but the church I think was knocked down somewhere in the late 70s early 80s. I might be wrong on that but that's the information that you can glean off the internet. So the history of Mabgate is towards the 1820s. This was the centre of the 
a transient population. At the end of the 1700s and into the early 1800s, Mabgate rapidly developed into one of the city's major industrial areas. By 1820, Mabgate was a highly populated district with families, factories and mills. But unfortunately, around the early to middle 1820s, there was a cholera outbreak and it started right here in Mabgate. 2,000 victims were admitted to a special hospital that was set up in St Peter's Square. Among this terror, a hero emerged, a local surgeon by the name of Robert Baker. He observed that the terrible conditions in which most lived. Convinced that cholera's spread was linked to poverty, he mapped the locations of every single case of the disease, as well as recording information about the victims. His report presented to the city authorities after the epidemic had passed, described in vivid detail the overcrowding, raw excrement, livestock living indoors and the lack of drainage that were the features of the slums. In some cases, over 400 people were found to be sharing just two toilets, while some families had to walk nearby to a mill to access the nearest water tap. Also in this street in the 1800s, it was crime ridden. It was a place where, well, lots of um, nasty stuff went on. Disease was rife and so was alcohol fueled violence and robbery. Yet somehow in the midst of cholera and crime, families survived and life carried on. But that's not the reason why I want to bring you to Mabgate today. This road right at the centre of Mabgate is the reason why I wanted you to be here this morning. This is Hope Road. So from hopelessness to some real hope on Hope Road here in Mabgate. Okay, it doesn't look very much, but I have been looking at the internet. I've been looking online at the plans that have been made for this particular area in Leeds. So later on this year, um, East Street Arts are going to be setting up or they're in the process of setting up an arts hostel. There's also a number of charities working here, a particular charity called MAP or MAP, which is working with disadvantaged and excluded children from public school. So it, it's a phenomenal place. To, and also that people are saying that this is an up and coming area in Leeds so we can only just watch and see what the future holds and also have you seen the mural on the back of the Mabgate cafe that celebrates from 1880 all the way through to 1987 this really is a place 
that is filled with hope. The scriptures hold for us an enormous theme of hope. It seems like on every single page there is a moment, a circumstance, a situation where someone in the midst of sorrow and despair finds real hope. A simple meaning of hope is this, a feeling of expectation desire and a longing for the promise of God to happen. Jeremiah the prophet had the unenviable task of speaking to the people of God in exile and Jeremiah was given the task of speaking to them in the midst of their sorrow and their hopelessness, trying to work out where was God in the midst of this situation. And there's a wonderful passage of hope in Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. A simple hope prayer. Jesus, in a world of despair, you are our hope. In a world of darkness, you are our hope. In a world of sorrow, you are our hope. Help us to share the hope of our hearts with one another. Enable us to give hope to others through your work amongst us. Amen. Next time on Urban Waymarks, we're going to be in Holbeck, exploring the great Bible theme of the nations. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down